uh, some basic questions. So we said some things which is sort of glossed over. So let me just talk about skip tracing. First off, uh, skip tracing is when you get their, their phone number, their cell phone number, their social media information. What else do you get, Rob, out, out of that? Skip, the skip oh, tracing. gosh, it tells you way more than you probably need to know, and not all of, it, not all of it's accurate. First of all, skip tracing, there's only a couple real skip tracers out there, and everything else is kind of a resale of skip tracing. Because of all the footprint we leave throughout life, through registering our cars and doing things online and everything else, these companies have a way of compiling it all and giving us tons and tons of data. So when I'm looking someone up, I can find out if they've had speeding tickets, what kind of car they drive, where they live, what they owe in their house, what they paid for their house, who they're married to, who their family members are. And it's not all accurate, but it's all pretty darn close to accurate. So I go after the basic. I always like to start with just social media and I look at the person. So I probably go a little bit deeper. It's kind of like the cool thing about real estate is it's insider trading without the jail sentence. So it's like, you're allowed to look up everything. So if I'm looking at someone selling a house here or they should be selling a house, I'll look at their primary residency. I'll see how much do they owe on this? When do they buy it? How much is their mortgage? Do they have any pending lawsuits against them? What kind of car are they driving? What kind of zip code are they living in? What do they do for a living? It tells me if they have a degree and where they work. So I kind of start painting the picture. If some kids inherited a house and I'm looking at a probate lead that I picked up, What's the likelihood they're going to take a lesser of an offer because they need the money now versus they're an affluent family and they'll go out for the long buck? So I start analyzing that in my head ahead of time before I ever go. And the one thing getting your mind right about all of this is my thing in skip tracing, I picture everybody that if I'm trying to find someone that owns this house, I think they have a $20,000 check with my name on it. And all I got to do is find them and I can get it. If I find them, they're going to give me a check. Oh, Rob, here's your check. I'm sorry. I'm glad you found me. So you work that hard at finding somebody. It's not like you're finding them for a couple of dollars. You can literally make a lot of money on finding this right person for the right deal. So I just yeah. try to wrap my head around that first. And that's what keeps me focused for that whole 45 minutes that I dig someone out. Yeah, we've got skip tracing coming into RealFlow soon. So with, within the next couple of months.